Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's Mobile Mechanics and I'm going to change the front brake pads and discs on this VW Crafter van here. So from inside the van you've got this message, brake wear, visit workshop. So I've just got a jack on there and an axle stand just supporting the uh, subframe there. Just started taking off the wheel nuts. Got the wheel nuts off and we can move the wheel out of the way and see what we're faced with. So I've just turned the wheel to the right there so we can see and we have some rubber caps. Just on the back here, can I get these pulled off? Now I've got the rubber cap off. You can see it wasn't sealing too well because the nut doesn't look in very good shape, so hopefully we can get that out. Okay, we've just got a 6mm Allen hex key on there. And it is turning, thankfully. We've got that bolt out there. And now we've got the top one out. Top one's in a lot better condition. Because it's, uh, it's away from the floor a little bit more. I'm just get a big screwdriver in behind the brake pad here. Not on the pistons of the caliper, just behind the brake pad. And now I can get in the centre piece here, just to even it out. We can pull all those uh, pistons there back in fully. And just pull the brake pads out. And just hang the caliper up at the back there. Now we're going to remove this uh, caliper holder bracket and use a 21mm socket there. So we've opened the top and the bottom bolts there, now we can just take that off. Now we have a T30 Torx bolt there holding the disc on, retaining screw. Get out. Okay, now all of that's out. The disc is not moving, so it's going to need to be hammered off. Try and hold it steady while I'm doing it. There we go, it's broke loose already. Now we'll just clean around that. It doesn't need any sort of sanding down or anything. It should be pretty, pretty fine the way it is. And we'll just paint it up with some copper grease before we put the new one on. None for you. I just got some new brake discs here and brake pads. I'm using my favourite brand, Blueprint. We'll get these whacked on. So I'm just wire brushing and uh, brake cleaning the the old uh, hardware there on the brake caliper. I'm just going to grease up the tips of the brakes here. Just sort of nice and slidey on the uh, on the hardware the sliders there. Now we just get the new brake pad put in. So the sliders here on the caliper, they are seized solid. They're not moving, both of them. So I'm going to have to hammer them out with a chisel, punch and a hammer. Just use a ratchet extension there. 3 8 size, and it fits perfectly. And just hammer that out. Now we've got it out there, we're going to grease these up, clean inside. Just using a little wire brush on a driver here just to go around them and clean them up. We can just do the same on them. A bit of clean out. Now we've got those back in and they're sliding up and down. So we've just slipped the caliper back on there. We've got everything back in place. These brake pads come with a new set of bolts with some tread locker on them. So I've just filled all of that with grease there, just to stop any of that damp water getting in around it. Now we're just going to put some new caps back on. Might need my two hands for this. But that's, that's all back together, we'll just give it a little bit of a brake clean around the disc there. Okay, now we can just get the wheel back on, and uh, I can say that that went pretty well there. Uh, could have went a lot worse, which was uh, pretty straightforward, apart from the sliders, a little bit of bit of work on them, but it was all good. Now we'll start on the driver's side, it's got dark hair pretty quick, 
So uh, we'll finish up on the video, it's pretty much the same story over and again. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Like and subscribe.